So I like Thank ending you. every <laughs> single interview with the question of what is one piece of advice that you would have wished you had known or you would have liked to give yourself now back 10 years ago. So when you're first starting, what is something mm. you know now that you wish you knew back then or you would tell yourself back then? Mm. I think I've already mentioned this throughout this interview, sure. but it's definitely that it's not as easy as it seems. Amen to because, that. Because I remember even before I started my, my, my career that it was, so it was just me and my family. And we thought, I mean, I mean, we had already studied, we had already studied how, how celebrity, the celebrity life would be. And of course it, it took a lot of sacrifices, mm -hmm. but now being here, I mean, it's a lot, it's mm -hmm. a lot. And not a lot of people understand just the struggle that all these, all these artists and musicians have to go through to be able to put their music out there, even just, and even just to sing for people yeah. it's it's not easy it's not easy because we can't deny there's also politics in the industry mm -hmm. so <laughs> i mean that's why we just really have to we have to be really understanding of people and so but um from my experience it's really not to give up not yeah. to give up because like i shared i I, I even joined another competition or another TV competition before I joined the Voice of the Philippines, and I even didn't win that one hmm. also. But that didn't, but that didn't stop me from believing in what I could do yeah. and what I can do, and I will be able to do. Amen. And so, ten years later, despite not winning any of those competitions, mm, I joined. Come on, here we are. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I love that. And to, to piggyback on what you said with the, you know, the, 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 it's harder than you think. You don't realize, people don't realize it. You know, I heard a quote and I'll end, we'll end it, wrap it up with this. I heard a quote from, uh, do you know who Stephen yeah. Furtick is? Do you know that, that, that name? I think I've heard. He, I think so I he's, have, he's a yeah, pastor I've of a church uh, here in America. Mm. And he said, he was talking about this and the whole comparison thing that we all as humans struggle with. Right. And he said, so often yeah. we compare people's success without including their set level of sacrifice that they had you know we don't yeah. we don't realize you know oh we said oh that guy has six grammys you know but we don't see the level of sacrifice of what he had to sacrifice to get there and you know when we when we once we like either realize that or just kind of understand that it's like okay well mm -hmm. you know maybe maybe it doesn't look so gl glamorous in the end or maybe it's harder than we think mm -hmm. or anything like that so 